The contents of your box will contain two orange LEDs, two white LEDs, one powered ECU, one handlebar switch, two meters of three meter VHP double tape, five millimeter width, and four spare cable crimp connectors. Next, find the best place to run the cables and clean all surfaces to remove any dirt. In the example, we'll be using the existing groove on the side of the Ox's board. Now it's time to position your LEDs. Peel the double tape and stick the orange LEDs to the tail of your scooter. We recommend placing these as we have done to give you the best width possible between your indicators. Please note that when positioning your LEDs, be sure not to apply too much pressure to the center of the LED to avoid damaging. Leave in place for 72 hours for the bond to strengthen. Next, we will be running the cable for the LEDs. Using the 5mm VHB tape supply with this kit, you can run the tape along the side of your scooter or wherever you wish. Please make sure to apply pressure as you run the tape, which is extremely flexible. Applying pressure will ensure this is stuck in place, ready for you to place your cables down. Once you are happy with the positioning of your tape, you will now need to cut the tape from the reel. In this example, we have only ran the tape up to the front light on the aux. Once you are happy, peel off the backing from your tape. Now that we have the double tape stuck down in place, we are going to run the first LED cable. Ensure the cable is pulled taut at the back to avoid the cable getting in the way of any other components on the scooter. Please ensure that when running the cable along the double tape, you keep this flush. This will provide the best sticking solution possible. Next, we will be applying the 5mm VHB tape to the next location where we would like to run our cable. In this example, we are going to run the cable directly over the first cable. Next, peel off the backing of your tape and you are ready to run your next cable over the top of the first cable. Again, ensure the second cable is taut at the back of the scooter and then run along the cable that we have already placed down, ensuring it is flush. In this example, we will be running both cables along the top of the LED light. Place the 5mm VHB tape above the LED light and peel off the backing tape ready for your first cable to be applied. Now run your first cable along the adhesive tape. Ensure that this is flush and move the cable out of the way for later. Repeat this step again by applying the sticky tape over the first cable and then sticking down your second cable.
Now it's time to place your front LEDs. Peel the double tape and stick the white LEDs to the frame of your scooter. We have applied VHB sticky tape on the edge and then ran our cable round flush to avoid the cables touching any other component on the scooter. Please ensure you check the swing arm on the Enikim Ox if using the Ox to ensure this does not come in contact with any cables. This should not be an issue. Repeat the same step again to place your next front LED. Ensure you check that the cables are flush and move your swing arm to ensure no cable contact is made. We will now be placing the ECU into position. Using the double sided sticky tape that is supplied, apply this to your box and then place this where you wish on your scooter. The ECU can be mounted anywhere on the scooter's frame, but in this example we have placed it within the gap on the ox. Please note that when placing your ECU box on your scooter, that you leave room for all other ports around your scooter. In this example, the power port for the ox is located below this. We need to ensure that you can still access this when charging your scooter. Please also ensure that you have placed your ECU box in the correct position and that you can connect up your ECU charging unit. Now it's time to start looking at connecting up cables. Ensure your ECU power button is switched off before starting this process. On the bottom of each connector there is a label with its identification as shown on screen. As you can see on the connections, there are different polarities, plus for positive, minus for negative. To connect the LEDs, you will need to split the cable in two. One cable has a square edge, which is the positive polarity, and one cable is rounded, which is the negative polarity. Each LED cable is supplied with a long length of cable. This will need to be cut down to size, so ensure that you check cable placement first before doing this. We are now ready to connect up our cable to the crimping connector. Split your cable by about one inch and pull apart. Make sure the cable's polarity matches the connector's polarity. Square core with positive, round core with negative. Holding your cables in position, push these up through the red slots in your crimping connector. Push these in firmly until they can go no more. Now you are ready to crimp your connector. Take a pair of flat headed pliers and to squeeze tight with one hard motion. You will hear a click. Once the click has happened, you know you have connected this successfully. We will now need to remove a few things from the handlebar section. 
First of all, we will start by removing the bell. Next, we need to remove the grip. Do this by twisting firmly and sliding off the end. Next, unscrew the brake. Leave this hanging so we can get some slack on the cable to remove it. Try and feed some cable up through the hole where the rubber surrounds it and pull out from the top to give some extra slack so we can remove the brake. Now we need to connect the handlebar control unit. Now loosen the screw on the handlebar control unit. We will slide this over the handlebar and screw up tightly once in position. Next, put back on your brake. Once in position, screw your brake up, and then it's time to put back on the grip. Once everything is in position, adjust and screw tightly. Now your controller unit is in place, it's time to feed the cable down through the bar. When feeding the cable down the bar, make sure you look out for the connector piece at the bottom. You should see this through the hole, which has the rubber surround. When you find this, use a pair of flathead pliers to try and pull the cable out through the hole. Once you have pulled the connector through, connect it up to the connector on the end of the ECU. The installation is now complete.